Are you trying to lower your blood sugar and wondering if you might also lose some weight along the way? You might be surprised to learn that one diabetes medication in this study actually caused weight gain, while the other helped people lose more than 10 pounds. And no, this was not a small difference. In this video, I am comparing Ozempic and Lantus once again. But this time, we are focusing on weight changes. This is based on the same 30-week clinical trial we looked at in our last video. I am a licensed pharmacist, and this is Pharmacist Online, where I break down medical information in a way that makes sense for real people. Last time, we compared Ozempic and Lantus for A1C reduction. Today, let us look at what happened with people's weight during that same study. This research followed over 1,000 adults with type 2 diabetes. Everyone was already taking one or more oral diabetes medications. Then they were divided into three groups. One group received Ozempic at 0.5 milligrams, another received Ozempic at one milligram, and the last group received daily Lantus insulin injections. So what happened to their weight over the 30 weeks? People using Lantus actually gained weight, on average, about two pounds. Now let us look at the Ozempic groups. Those taking 0.5 milligrams of Ozempic lost around 7.1 pounds. And those taking the one milligram dose, they lost about 10.4 pounds. That is a huge difference, from gaining weight on insulin to losing more than 10 pounds on Ozempic. So why does this happen? It comes down to how each medication works. Lantus is a long-acting form of insulin. Insulin helps your body store sugar and fat. That is its job. But when you are taking insulin and not adjusting your food or activity, it can often lead to slow, steady weight gain. Ozempic, on the other hand, contains C-maglutide. It is a glucagon-like peptide 1 receptor agonist, or GLP-1. It helps regulate blood sugar, slows down digestion, and reduces appetite. For many people, that leads to weight loss, especially when combined with healthy habits. But let me be clear, Ozempic is not officially a weight loss drug. Some people lose weight, others may not. It really depends on your body, your routine, and how consistently you follow your plan. Now, let us talk about side effects, because both of these medications come with some. With Ozempic, the most common issues are nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, and constipation. These often show up in the first few weeks as your body adjusts. Some people also experience fatigue or loss of appetite. And if you are losing weight quickly, there is also a small risk of gallbladder problems. Signs to watch for include pain in the upper right belly, yellowing of the skin or eyes, fe fever, or pale colored stools. If any of that happens, call your doctor. Lantus, on the other hand, usually does not cause stomach side effects, but it does carry a higher risk of low blood sugar, especially if your dose does not match your meals or activity levels. That is why careful monitoring is so important when using insulin. So what is the bottom line here? If weight loss is part of your treatment goal and your doctor agrees, Ozempic might offer a major advantage over Lantus. In this 30-week study, people on Ozempic not only lowered their A1C more, but they also lost significantly more weight compared to those on insulin. Now I want to hear from you. Have you taken Ozempic or Lantus? Did you notice a change in your weight? Share your experience in the comments. It might really help someone else who is trying to make this decision. Next up, we're jumping into the showdown between Ozempic and Trulicity, kicking things off with A1C results. You won't want to miss this. If this video helped you out, tap that like button, leave a comment, and do not forget to subscribe to Pharmacist Online for more real-world health advice.